And I'm Martina Bills. We begin first to five with a traffic alert out of Kanawha County this evening. Drivers are experiencing congestion due to pothole repair along Interstate 64. This is all happening in the cross lanes area and the eastbound lanes. This is a picture, a live picture of the traffic. The left two lanes are closed. DOH crews are working on those uh, pothole repairs. Uh, how long this is going to last? Kind of anybody's guess at this point. We meanwhile, they say the drivers. Well, you can see why expecting delays. Well, it has been about 10 months, 10 days rather, since a man's body was spotted in the Kanawha River. The Kanawha County Sheriff's Office shared this afternoon the man has been identified as Kevin Irwin, a man from South Charleston who had been missing since November. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue spoke with investigators and neighbors about the next steps. Tim Bush says the chaos near his neighbor's dock earlier this month was unlike anything he's ever experienced. A lot of... Uh Emergency vehicles, a lot of emergency people showed up all at once. We really didn't know what was going on until one of the police officers told us and told us to keep the kids back. He soon learned his neighbor discovered a man's body floating in the Kanawha River before calling law enforcement. Kanawha County deputies and South Charleston police shared Wednesday the man had been identified as 45-year-old Kevin Irwin, who was first reported missing on November 30th. South Charleston Police Captain Andrew Gordon says quick action like the neighbors was essential in figuring out the next part of the investigation. It's very important. Uh, my understanding of uh, in this specific case, um, this individual was, was pretty positive that it was a body. They got close enough to it to see that. But oftentimes we have other cases where um, it looks like it could be a body but might not be. And you know, sometimes people call in and it's not. You know, it's something completely different. But you know, if you don't take the time to make that phone call and pass that on, um, you know, it could damage potential evidence and, you know, make it really harder to, you know, locate this person, recover this person later on. Tim says he's thinking of Erwin's loved ones. Well, I'm glad they uh, identified it. Maybe some a family will get closure. Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ, News Channel 3, Kanawha County. The sheriff's office says that now Mr. Irwin's been cleared from the missing persons list. South Charleston police will handle the investigation on just how his body did end up in the river.